welcome to another exciting episode of Entertainment Gist and Trendy Stories right here on Yard TV. Today I have a lot of gist for you from Abuna Koko down to A plus down to Shatawali. I'm your host Bambi Best, your queen of gist, and this is your 360. And Abna Koko apologizes to Ifwa Shasnega. So around last two weeks, Abna Koko posted a video on social media insulting Ifwa Shasnega for saying things that were not true according to her. She said Ifwa Shasnega said she has been injected with drugs so Ifwa Shasnega should stay away from her affairs and even called her bipolar. So after all this, Abna Koko has come back again to post on social media apologizing to Ifwa Shasnega in a stylish way. She posted, Congratulations, Efia. I love you, but stop bad mouthing me. Your sons are blessed. Pena is your deliverance. Never stop loving her. Please love and respect your husband. You are a generational leader. Your story will be beautiful. Your son will always shine. No weapon against you shall prosper. You are covered by the blood of Jesus. I apologize if I have ever disrespected you. Thank you for all the advice you called in my lost moments. So that was Abna Koko apologizing to Ifa Shasnega after all the things she said on social media. So guys, what do you think triggered Abna Koko to come out to apologize to Ifa Shasnega after everything? Ifa Shasnega being controversial as she is, didn't even utter a word. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Dancehall musician Shatawali has lamented about the nature of Ghanaians entirely focusing on the government to better their lives and blaming leaders for the poor living standards in the country. The Shatter Movement's boss said since he started witnessing and following politics, no better relationship has existed between any government and its citizens. According to him, it's because the citizens crowd themselves with high expectations about governments that set out to pursue mediocrity. In an interview with Kafui Day on GTV, Shatawale said even if the various governments are combined to rule the country, citizens will still be unsatisfied and have problems with their performance. In this regard, he said the only way Ghanaians can experience a better life is when they pursue their success rather than centering all their hopes on the government. The whole system is just pretending, including yeah. the citizens. That's why, you know, we have presidents coming and, you know, showing us, you know, or telling us things that they cannot do. Mm. And we still sit down and watch them. Like now, if I can watch people. You know, when Mahama was in power, I was watching people saying he wasn't doing anything, wasn't doing anything. Now that um, um, Nana is in power, everybody says he's not doing anything. He's not it's like auto autopilot. I have a song that I said, bring Baomiya, Mahama and Nana together to come and rule Ghana. Ghanaians will still say they are not doing it. It's not, it's not out yet. Yeah, it's not out yet. When so that was Shatawali. And he said that um, he has been talking to God or asking God about what the country has been going on recently. And he said God told him that everyone is suffering at the moment. So we all have to step on toes to solve the problem. Guys, what do you think about what Shatawali is saying? Is it true that we are depending on the government or we truly have to depend on the government? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Moving on to our next thing, A plus descends on another Danko Ekufuado. So the electricity company of Ghana, ECG, in a social media post revealed that 630 distribution transformers in communities across its operational zones are currently above capacity due to increased power consumption. The ECG said this was one of the reasons for the intermittent power supply and cautioned Ghanaians to brace themselves for more power outages during peak demand hours between 7 p.m. and 11 p.m. Political activist Kwame Asari Obin, better known as A, has strongly criticized President Akufado's government for these recent power outages. A shared the 2012 tweet on his Facebook page in which Akufado, the opposition leader at that time, 
criticized the ruling administration for power disruptions. In the post, Akufado said, Mr. President, if the lights go out and come back on, isn't that doom so doom so? Hashtag Mahama must go. So, A plus stressed in his Facebook page that the president has not lived up to the expectations placed on him as a leader, especially when it comes to resolving the nation's ongoing power shortages. And he wrote, Another Dan Kwa Akufuado, he shared this in 2012, which is the post Akufuado made. Look at what is happening now and give it a name. You have disappointed even your enemies. Your main opponent who said you would fail as president didn't know you would be this worse. So this is what a is saying. Asha Sivon Nelson also came to post something on Twitter saying, Mr. President, Doomso is Doomso. Whether it's for an hour, 12 hours, 24 hours, or every day, fix it. So, this is what this, these two people had to say about the power shortages going on. So, guys, what do you also think about the power shortages? Are you okay with it? Or do you also blame the president and the government for whatever is going on at the moment? Let me know what you think in the comment section. So that will be all for today's episode. My name is Bambi Best, your queen of gist. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media handles at Yad TV. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Yad TV. And for more news updates, visit www.myyadtv.com. Catch you in the next episode. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah TV Bridging Continent